I'm Igor Sashkins, Director of Marketing for Bitcoin Gold, and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin Gold. I'm Ed Ispra. I'm a longtime crypto enthusiast and tech guy, and I'm also the Communications Director for the Bitcoin Gold organization. So decentralization is a key here. In the beginning, every miner was a crypto user. Every, every Bitcoin user had a Bitcoin wallet and was a Bitcoin miner. It was all done on the CPU of their computer. Over time, technology progressed. Bitcoin was getting mined on GPUs, their graphics cards, and eventually people developed specialized hardware just for mining Bitcoin, and that's, that's called an ASIC miner, um, an application-specific integrated circuit. It's a fancy word for dedicated hardware that can do it faster. Over time with Bitcoin, what happened was these ASICs got faster and faster, and the people who produced and managed and sold these ASICs were able to control a lot more of the network that does the mining. By some estimates, uh, about 80% of the total mining power out there is actually controlled in the hands of a very few entities and isn't that different than giving all the power over the financial system to the banks or to a particular government. And that's bad for decentralization. If the idea is to decentralize this and make sure that we can all trust it because it doesn't belong to any small group, then we want to make sure that a small group is not taking control over any part of the system. So essentially what you're saying is a few entities are now controlling Bitcoin using their ASIC miners. And one of the ways to solve the problem is to change the Bitcoin software. Uh, that's exactly right. And, and that was the idea behind Bitcoin Gold. We changed the Bitcoin software so that it doesn't work on an ASIC miner, so that it does work on a GPU miner, on, on a video card, in order to decentralize it, to, to reverse that monopoly effect and allow people to be involved in the process again. So what you've done is you took the competitive advantage away from these few entities that made this Bitcoin monopoly and you're giving control back to the people. Yes, exactly. 